beyond the headlines after learning that a local college shut down this weekend without a word of warning. It's just frustrating to have this come up all of a sudden and just the uncertainty of not knowing if I'm going to be able to finish or not. Now graduation is canceled and many families are searching for answers. Coin six is Jennifer Dowling heard from some of those students today and Jennifer those students are I guess are worried about what will happen to them next. They don't know if they're going to graduate, right? Good evening. Heald College is a school that specializes in associate's degrees in things like medical billing and coding and medical assistance. And students here say they learned of the closure through email. They said it sent them into a panic about what's next for their future. About 10 o'clock this morning, I was checking my email. That's how pharmacy tech student Tracy Stewart said she got the news from Heald that made her heart sink. It said that as of tomorrow, they were closing the doors. The pharmacy technology program director sent this message. I am sad to say that as of today, the campus has been shut down permanently. Hopefully all of your questions will be able to be answered next week during your meetings about transfers and so forth. Graduation for this Friday, the 1st of May, is also canceled. That came to, is quite a shock. I had no idea. Stewart was scheduled to graduate soon, beginning her final internship program called an externship this week. I've put so much work into it and studied so hard, and I would hate to lose it now when I'm so close. This mom says her daughter was hoping to graduate as a medical assistant in October. It's kind of flooring when one day you're a student at somewhere, and the next day, or you know, over a two day period of a weekend, your whole world flips upside down. Corinthian Colleges is closing 28 ground campuses, including Heald, displacing about 16,000 students nationwide. The closure comes just after the U.S. Department of Education announced that it would fine the for-profit institution $30 million for misrepresentation, claiming Corinthian failed to address allegations of falsifying job placement data and altering grades and attendance records. Stewart says for students, the setback seems monumental. I'm scared and nervous, hoping that it won't affect my externship at all, because I really want to get out there and get working as soon as I can. The CEO of Corinthian Colleges posted online that they had tried to save the schools by selling them, but then blamed the regulatory environment for those sales falling through. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin6 News. Jennifer,